Greetings family, Bomani Tamba here, live on Revolutionary Cam family, and I'm hit with my special guest, Kwesi Board, and mm -hmm. he is gonna continue on the topics we talk about, Art Cathy, Black Sit, Anapaja, yeah. Negro Pian, his time in the Gambia, his connection, his return back to the US, and so on. So all of that is in the mix of his life in the last two years, and he's basically breaking his silence. Continue, my brother. Okay, so uh, uh, of course my journey started seven years ago when I right. first went over, um, and then you know four years I've been living there and have uh, established a family there, and I've taken some notes because I'm, I want to try to stay on course because it's it's so much to be talked about, and now I, I, it, it's so much to be talked about, and we want to make sure that everybody get the uh, the full uh, details of the story, and you know I've always been behind the scenes, All right? And people haven't been able to hear that, but we mentioned some things about, you know, uh, the relationship between Juliet and um, Negro Pian. It later came out that they knew they had a relationship and that they knew each other on a first name basis. You know what I mean? She was giving him information uh, about R. Kathy, you know, because she had a problem with R. Kathy. You know, I was with Juliet and I was working with Juliet every day when she first started building her house out there. You know, when I met uh, them, like I said, when I walked in there, her chair broke. And I'm spiritual, so I saw a sign in that. Uh, however, we worked together and we started selling land. And early on in the land, you know, one of my wives actually uh, worked for the company at and we were selling land there and um, early on I saw that there was going to be problems with the land and you know I wanted to do you know everyone going over there buying land in a haphazard way and in, in a um, impulse buying you know they just want to buy into the idea you know uh, it leads to a lot of issues especially when people so Negro PM went to make videos about it I mean it's all uh, public you know I never went out there and made a bunch of videos about the land deals that she was doing and mm -hmm. You know the legitimacy of them and the mismanagement, but they blame all the stuff that I, they blame me for. They're pretty much, you know, uh, responsible and accountable. It's been established that they've been having all of these misdealings, and he brought that out. But initially, you know, all of that attack was to create a smoke screen for you know. I mean, it's just out of pure hate. You understand what I'm saying? Pure hate. And then you have uh, people like Nero Pian. And, you know, as I shared before, I don't even like, you know, to, to talk to him because he was just, you know, he's just a tool. He was a stool. He was trying, he was building his channel up. And, you yeah, know, he just, uh, he's not know, somebody that cares. It's kind of like what he called a bottom feeder, you know, a low a life. Feeder. That's what, yeah, that's it, what it, the unapologetic so Negro PN represent. It, it Someone was, that just like an opportunist, like, okay, I'm going to do this. I can't, like, I, I, have, I have no connection to where I can do anything in Africa. And maybe I can just... Get into a situation you know, his where his name is Negro who, 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 But this, what this kind is, of grown ass black man call himself so, a Negro So if you look at this, check this out. If you look at this, you have that's that's that don't represent the movement at all. Right. <laughs> you know all of this commercial YouTuber and these people. Like we were speaking about R. Kathy and just the controversy around art. And you know, uh, art. Like I said, she had her problems like any other people, and people need handlers. Right. But the the, the person that you're working with have to be allow you to say hey this is what you need to do you need to st you know not you know uh, make an apology you know or or say this or that you know how they say you gotta make a public apology it, it, it's people you can't be by yourself making decisions like with uh blackson and juliet juliet it, you know it's her and her and uh, her husband you know he don't have much saying anything it's just juliet running the show and he's there she makes that very known on on video so juliet is <clears throat> blackset yeah juliet is blackset Right. It, it, that that's very obvious you know what I mean and you know uh, we have to look at and this is based on you know it was a lie that was established a primer with this whole situation many lies that came out about me stealing money and things like that which would never ever happen you know she uh, accused the uh, black acres of the Gambia of stealing, stealing a camera or something and made that very wow. public so if I stole anything but that was not true because she didn't want people to come you know, she didn't want, and you know, Adrian, you know, Adrian, I only watched a, uh, a few, your portion of those videos that you guys made with those two, the two ladies that, uh, you know, started all the drama mm -hmm. and supporting those ladies when I've gave months and months and months of free labor 
tens of thousands of dollars in intellectual properties, you know, building the site, the, the databases, everything, you know, uh, and assisting y'all, you know, G, you understand all the work he did, my team, Umi, you know, uh, Bugs, Muhammad, we all uh -huh. was there, I brought all those people there and we helped y'all, we helped y'all move, you know, from um, Palmarima out to the house, we was, you know, you know, we did nothing but help that organization and because, you know, you, you know, the, your wife or, you know, Juliet, I'm not even addressing Adrian, it, you know, it, it's Juliet and it, don't, it didn't have to get to this point where this, is, this big mess is created and then, you know, to have the, at, the, the attitude like, you know, you high and mighty and everybody's against you and it's obvious that you, you're not doing things right. You understand what I'm saying? Especially undermining the movement at this level. We're too high up for people not to see or have any common sense to look and see. You know, they try to drag me through the mud. And, you know, the whole time, actually, when uh, all of that stuff uh, broke out, I, I had an opportunity to, to rest because we were going every day. You know, when we built yeah, the website, wow. I told my, uh, my students, I was like, we build websites with financial databases. Like, you have an online account. If yeah, you went yeah. and you invest, yeah. it come up there, just like PayPal, Bank of America. And I did this all with Gambians. You know, yeah. two years before I, I came out the house, downstairs I had eight computers. If you go to investrelocateafrica.com, you'll see me standing there with about six people. And those are the ones that I started training. And I told them, we're building all these systems now. This is before... A couple of years before uh, uh, COVID, all right? Mm -hmm. But I'm telling them, hey, you know, we're building all these systems because one day we're gonna have business coming through here. Serious, you gotta you prepare right. yourself. And I had my my first wife there, and I had my children, and that's all I did. I didn't go out. The first the first girl that I met in Gambia, I ended up marrying her, and we were married for a couple of years before we got a divorce. You understand? But I wasn't over there on sex tourism. Like, you know, wow. all the stuff that came out <laughs> on those girls. You know, when they came over there, you know, everybody go check my channel out, Go Hard Gambia. And um, you'll see, you know, I had a team over there organizing. And, you know, we're sitting there. You see about eight people there. And uh, that was the whole team. And we built, you know, uh, uh, laid the foundation, you know, uh, working with Juliet. Like I said, we were starting to, to, to sell land and things like that. But uh, when Art Cathy came into equation through Juliet. R. Kathy had her own market, so I was going to go ahead and work with R. Kathy, you know, as well, because I'm a business developer. We got people coming over. We want to be a, be able to be a one-stop shop. You know, okay, you need a website, you need a dev, you know, a cookie-cutter model. You okay. know what I mean? Good vision. We, we, you be the network. You right. know what I mean? Network. You don't, be the, you don't be the little show. You got to be the network. Otherwise, if you're the little show, then you got a whole bunch of little shows, competitions coming up, right? And then the, the network is the white uh, uh, supremacy ideology model. Willie Lynch syndrome. Everybody over there trying to build a house and getting YouTube channels and clout chasing, you know, trying to make some money and don't understand business, you know, coming from backgrounds where they're nine to five workers, you know what I mean? People who are low lives and don't have lives, you know, people that come from backgrounds of uh, alcohol and drug abuse. Like we all, we all have uh, issues of that. You know, and then coming, you know, at the time making these r ridiculous and horrible claims uh. about somebody over there that got families. So what these, what they've been doing over there, and, and, and you know, the the game, the people in these countries, they're sitting back looking like we've already have a bad reputation globally. This has got to stop. Some, <laughs> you know, if not, how do you expect that to turn out to be some type of good? You know, they most too was their headquarters. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. You know, Kiki love Nigeria. I'm gonna write a uh, I'm gonna write a book about it because all of this stuff has to be understood. H mm. Hundreds of millions of dollars. We have great responsibility being in this movement, man. And none of us perfect. You know, I mean, we have our our, our challenges, but to in uh, you know intentionally, you know, create instability by being in the country and we got other people in the country like this brother <clears throat> if you over there and then I decide to say okay like you had just situation with the sister you know what I mean this is 
the 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 two main people and that was uh, involved with the uh going on Negro Pian, you know, and going on uh, uh Go Black to Africa, those two ladies. And I don't even like to mention their name, one of them. Yeah, we don't gotta mention their name. You know, like I said, they they they're really nobodies. Immediately that after they went one of their daughter got up there and said they got into a conflict because they were trying to ship drugs into the country. Wow. And then it's, it's, you know, they did, and then it was a, they tried to accuse me of breaking into her house, some some dumb ridiculousness, and it, it turned out to be a, the chick boyfriend that she was dating. Then she tried to take him, they tried to blame everything on me. You know, one of Juliet people that was part of her coalition of African descendants, I'm not going to share his name, but he came up to me and said, wow. Juliet, try to blame everything on you. And she used all of her resources and everything, all her power and energy to, to get me an art out the market because she wanted to be the number one brand. Wow. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, them um, fake black Brits, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it's, it's unbelievable, man. And, and black Americans over there, black Americans, yeah, and that, guess, that's just the real truth. I guess it's just a bunch of this, our uh, folks who just can't get it right. Uh, but family, um, we don't. We're looking to connect with the best of our people right. across the globe, and that's what we're doing. We want to connect with the best of our people. That's it. You know, it, it's a sad reality, and it's a global reality. It's a global reality of the poverty mindset. But that don't mean you can't be successful. Right. The opposite side of the uh, magnetic pole, you have uh, opposites. You have you know positive, and you have negative. That just exists. You know what I mean? But you know, it's just you know, it's a workout. It's a it's a, a sharpening stone. You know what I mean? And we have to deal with it, but you know the work don't stop. You know only the solid people are gonna come through this, these dramas, and you know how you know you gotta understand givers from takers. You understand what I mean? People will, will risk their reputation. Look up a narcissist. I want everybody to go online, do some research of narcissists. You understand? And but you know that you know that's supported by this global dynamic that we're in. So we're moving more towards community models where we're moving away from all of that. You know, enough is enough. You show me videos, everybody's enjoying themselves and having fun. And we want a, a continuation of that without making people think it's already bad. Six, like, RJ is a good brother. Him, Sister Yah, mm -hmm. Brother Fo Day, they came to Exodus Alliance. They try to, we try to help the people that were going to be hurt. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of people involved, a lot of people that put up a lot of money and resources. And it was a total disregard for them. You know, people just came, they act like pure Foods. It was a feeding frenzy to to get to uh, what we had tangibly was a uh, uh, economic community. Right. It was all known that we was over there. People didn't know the numbers, but they knew that we were doing great things, and then we had a lot of people responding to us. And the YouTube channel was blowing up, and people just loved the uh, you know uh, Art Kathy Quasi prototype. You know, and, you know. Um, it, it, you know, but like I said, it should have been something that was done all together. You know, Adrian did recommend, hey, you know, like I said, Adrian, he's a brother like we've all been in marriages. You understand what I'm saying? And we have to deal with uh, those situations. But uh, like I said, for me to be here this day, it's not, you know, it, it's, a, it's a sad day for us. Because, you know, you have people that's really dedicated to the movement and putting the work in. And then, you know, they, we feel like, hey, you know, why should we even try? You know what I mean? You know, we might as well just have a capital mindset, make up, make the money, and just, you know, let everybody just spend, you know, as consumers, you know, and then we sell off into the sunset on our yacht. You understand what I'm saying? And the unfortunate thing is that, you know, most of our people will support that. That's unfortunate because what yeah. that does is it destroys the future of our children and it destroys the opportunities. Don't know how to spend our money of what we need to build for intergenerational wealth uh -huh. and things that the key things we talk about as far as black economics and that's why I'm always telling people that as far as what we do mm -hmm. our entire business model is based on black economic mm -hmm. oper operation when you go to a country like the Gambia you're spending money with your own people your own hotels <coughs> when you're Pretty traveling and yep. you're moving around and when you're building an office you're building uh, you, you have homes being built you're doing movements and things that as we, have, as we, we, have, we have we had about 15 people that lost jobs, you know. Right. Now, I, I was over there straight anyway. I was employing people anyway, but, you know, but when, when, when those but people, people messed it up for other it people, it was people though. sending money in, man. I love y'all who made that sacrifice. And listen, 
you know, it, it's, it's no such thing as losing. We have to be patient, though, because we're dealing with a vicious, a vicious mindset, you know, and I mean, for us to try to come together and for that to be undermined for nothing. Trust me, they, you know, they did everything they could try to do to me. They brought me to the police, Juliet and Adrian, you know, shame on you. Shame on you trying to bring me to the police. Nothing came from that because I know what I'm doing. I know business. You understand? You guys um, know I had a business before. I can't work with the IRS. I mean, you put all these people on and years. they just literally just bit the hand that just put them on. You know, like, like I said, you know, like I did a video about Watermeyer. Like all the hype and going around, there's got to be some type of uh, accountability model. Right. They got to, or, or, or it's, you know, we have to have some type of, uh, you know, in the Gambia, they had the TRRC, the Truth Re uh, Reparation uh, Reconciliation Committee, uh, right. you know, uh, regarding things that took place during uh, the dictatorship administration. You know, they, you know, we can't let something like this, you know, take place and don't think that it's not going to have repercussions. A lot of people, yeah. you know, are and you know feel like they don't want to. People came over there want to show what they're doing and make that public, but they, like you were saying, they don't want to do that no more because they don't want Negro Pen them to be featured on Negro Pen. <laughs> you got some people running from him, man. You know what I mean? You know, like he's some, some you know, Juliet, like he's some Juliet, some judge. You know, like she, uh, you know, she was over in the UK, mm -hmm. and you know, saying her son is being bullied. And that these kids were using fear and intimidation, you know, against him. And she employs the same tactics on the repatriation movement. Wow. You know, I heard it said about R. Can't Kelly. They said R. Kelly. R. Kelly. They said, <laughs> I don't mean to talk about her brother, but he said R. Kelly willed his celebrity like a rapist will a knife. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what Juliet does. She willed her celebrity like. That you know, going rapist fishing. wills a knife, and she's raping the movement. Wow. You know what I mean? By, you know, this petty attack. You know, I, like I told her, you know, when we she we were in the Western Union, and she ran into the two accusers when they was with me for the seven days. That you know, immediately when they came into my environment, I was like, hey, no. They had a place to go though. I'm very. Uh, uh, I'll show you some pictures. If you go to my uh, Facebook page, Quasi Boyd, and you scroll through my page, and y'all haters stay off my damn page, all right? <laughs> go get a damn job, get a get life, a life. <laughs> all right? Go do something, man. You know, y'all don't be, you know, go do celebrity gossip, okay? That's all trash. Keep your content according to the trash. You see people doing something, man? You understand? We got to have a segment of YouTube. 95% of, stay with the 95% of the garbage and, 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 and the no value hollow content and make content around that. But if you see people in this repatriation movement, man, give us the benefit of the doubt in which we're doing. Don't just jump out there and, and, and you know, try to hurt one person and you hurting millions of people. You're not going to hurt this movement. It can't be stopped. We're at the end of the time for that. You know, you, you're out of here. You're the one that's going to be gone. You're done. You're looking like a fool running out there just to get subscribers, and it's all about you. And, it, and people don't even care about the money. As long as they're getting some views, can't sleep at night, damn phone sleeping on the pillow next to you. You know what I mean? Between you and your husband, if you got a husband. You know what I'm saying? Just you and your uh, phone. The battery going to run out. Just like you. <laughs> there you go, brother. The saga continues, man. The journey continues, family. Yeah. And we're going to hear more from our good brother, Quasi Boyd. And I know we got more and more and more and more and more segments man, as we, our brother. Man, we gonna write a book. It's we gonna, literally we gonna, it's so much we got to talk releasing, about, man. It's Quasi breaking his science. Silence. At Yahoo.com. He's breaking out some science. I, I He's breaking his silence. I made some so videos. family, the journey continues. We have more and more to show you. And stay strong. Keep it real. Man, we love you. Peace.